During the Great Patriotic War we and our company took almost no one prisoner. You wouldn't understand it now, but back then. By the end of the war bitterness had reached its extreme limits, on both warring sides. In the heat of battle, even if a German raised his hands he could be shot. There were dozens of cases, when the enemy, who had already surrendered, would run past and raise his machine gun from the ground and shoot him in the back. But if the German crawled out of the trench after the battle with his hands up, then the chances of surviving were quite high. And if twenty more comrades surrendered with him, no one would touch them, as a rule. But here's an example again. The company was still fighting, there were twenty of us left, and we had to continue the mission. Eight men were taken prisoner. Where to get a few extra men for the convo? The commander gives the order, destroy. Everybody keeps quiet. In a minute we go on the attack. Of course, there were strict orders, forbidding the massacre of prisoners of war, and in many divisions they were strictly observed. But we had soldiers in our company who had been captured by Germans. What the Nazis did on Soviet soil could not be forgiven. How many times we saw the bodies of torn up guys who had been captured by the Germans. We have seen how the Germans seized our medical and sanitary unit, how they threw the wounded out of the windows and burned people alive. How can you talk about prisoners of war? We took relatively few prisoners of war, and this is a fact. Many people's families were killed and their houses destroyed. People took revenge. And what kind of reaction was to be expected? SS men, tank men and Vlasov men were often killed right on the spot. We had soldiers who had gone through German captivity. After all the horrors they had experienced, all words of humanity were nothing to them. 